What are the difficulties I had when I came to America? What did I learn? Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I see you. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. So today's video is about how I came to America, what I learned, and also what is the difficulties I had. So guys, stay tuned if you want to see this show. First guys, um, I came to America when I was like 11 years old. So I spent like three months here, like to have some vacation and everything. So I was trying to stay and my dad was like, no, you cannot stay right now. You're so young and I want you to go back to the country and stay like study the Quran and also like speak the language. You know how African parents are, right? I was like, oh no, I was so mad. So I went back to Africa. So I stayed there like for five years, eh? five years and came back here. So I can be here again as like someone who's on a vacation, but they end up deciding that should I stay or no. So basically I was like 15, 16 years old. So they was like, okay, um, now she know what she want. She don't really know what she want, but she can stay now and study. And it was like a problem. My dad was like, no, I don't want her to study. So my brother and sister was like, okay, it's time to let her study stay here and study that's my problem so basically i end up staying here so so i started school i went like to ninth grade and they was like no you can't speak english you should like go to like eighth grade or like seven i was like no i'm too old for it i cannot do it you know so they decided to let me in ninth grade but guess what i was fighting to go to 10th grade because like i was like old not really old but yeah i was like you know what i cannot do that i should go to the next level and i was like no you can't guess what i did i called my dad i told him to bring everything like every report card i have in africa to, to send it here so i can bring them to school so they will let me go to the next level and i did it i ended up doing it so i did ninth grade for like four months and the tenth grade for like five months so it was so crazy i couldn't speak no english like i couldn't speak anything people used to bully me a lot i don't know it's bullying people used to bully me a lot like do some crazy stuff and i was sometimes i'd be so mad but guess what i had a lot of difficulties when i came here i couldn't speak no english I can't, you know, what is so difficult in this country? Imagine you come here, you don't speak no English, and you cannot communicate to nobody. And when you start school, people will be trying you. Like, they'll be like, you know what, this girl is new. Let me see if she can fight or if she's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of, like, difficulties like that. People used to um, talk to me anyhow, and I'd be so mad. You know how African are? I'd be like, you know what, I have to beat this girl, beat this guy before he or she stop doing what she's doing, you know? And one day I did the same thing, like one day I fight with like a girl. The funniest thing is like when I fight with that girl, I came home, I was very scared, like very scared. I came home saying, oh my God, if I with someone, maybe my parents will like beat me up. But guess what? When I came in, my brother was like, you know, your school called me today that you fight with someone. I was like, yes, I did. And she was like, "Make sh did you make sure you beat that girl up? I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I really love you, man, because I was so scared. They bully people a lot. When you're new to this country, I swear to God, if you didn't get bullied, I don't know where you're from. Like, for real, I don't know where you're from because these people are so crazy in here. So basically, you know, also it's so easy um, to communicate with people when you're someone who's, who talk a lot. Like me, I talk a lot. I cannot stay in a place without talking to anyone. I can't. And some people can do that, but I can't. I used to, like, communicate with my hands and you sometimes translate Frank to English, he helped me a lot. So between six to like five months, I can like, not even five months, like three, four, I start communicating with people. My professor was like, what? How did you speak that English so fast? I was like, cause I talk to people. In America here, when someone like bully, you have to go to tell them and also, when you are fighting, you're not supposed to like hit them first. That's another difficulty I have in here. Oh my God. Anytime someone talk to me now, I just slap them. I was so like, when I go to the office, they be like, what did you do? I was like, I hit, I hit the person first. They be like, no, you're not right. 
I was like, no, this is crazy. In my country, we don't do that. We have to do whatever you want. And when someone slap, you have to slap them back, you know. They be like, yes, someone, if someone slap you, you have to slap them back. But you should never slap someone first. I was like, how can you start a fight if someone don't, like, slap someone? It was so funny. But I swear to God, I swear to God, it is the best, like, moment ever. I was fighting a lot when I came, but I swear to God, I ended up, like, not really loving it, but... Yeah, I like it sometimes. So another difficulty is that when you come here, people will look at you so different. Like they will see like you're a black person, they will see like you're from another country. They will do everything to make you mad. Like I swear to God, they will do everything. Sometimes when you come to school, they will laugh at, at your sneakers. They never did that to me, but I'm just seeing as experience. I some they did that to one of my friend, like not a close friend, like like um. Two years ago when I was living in high school, there was new people there. They was like bullying them a lot, saying, oh my God, their sneakers are fake. They don't have no mark on their, sh on like on their sneakers like my friend. We're not here for that shit. We're just here to study. Why are you? Like, just to bully, just to make you mad. And they judge you a lot. Like, they judge you. They be like, oh my God, look at her. Look at how he look, how, her, how she look. It don't make no sense just to make you mad. Like, I used to get mad so much. I have one problem. When someone do bad, like, like at school, when someone do, like, some crazy stuff to me, I swear to God, I'll do, I'll do everything to make the person mad. But that's the problem, you know? It is crazy. The difference between how we live in Africa and here is so different. Like, in Africa, we don't curse no professor, basically. If a professor tells us to do something and we don't do it, they're gonna beat us up, basically. But here, this student will do whatever they want. It is crazy. Like, I used to get so mad for the professor, but guess what? I, sometimes professor make me mad. I'd be like, you know what? This professor deserve that sometimes because they the one who make people mad sometimes. Because some professor, they so annoying. Like, they very annoying. If they see you quiet, like, they will take that for granted, you know? That happened one, one time. Like, I was in class and that professor was like, I don't know what she did to me. I was so mad. I was like, you know what? And I talked to her anyhow. She was like, you know what? Why did you do this? I was like, yes, you will ask me that because I am black, right? And when the other student curse you out, you don't say nothing. I just left. I was like, you know what? I don't care anymore. They, they will take you as like a crazy person. They will treat you different because you are from another country. You know, all this crazy thing is if you don't be careful, it will affect you a lot because a lot of people, from Africa when they come here they have these problems that's why they will give them all this you know, watch feet watch I don't even know how to call it the police will give to them because they fight a lot and because they do a lot of crazy stuff or smoking you know that's the thing I learned in America here no matter what if you're from Jakarta if you're from on the Tanzania if you're from Malaysia if you're from China if you're from everywhere anywhere I don't know how they find if you have a lot of opportunities in this country. If you're gonna succeed, succeed, sorry. If you're gonna succeed, you will succeed, no matter what. Because they have a lot of opportunities. You can do whatever you want. They don't care about the color, but I don't know. Some people be like, they have difficulties on that. But if you're smart, and if you're willing to study, I swear to God, you will do it. Because people here, they love people who study. They love smart people. They have a lot of opportunities for smart people. Like in this, in this school, they have like scholarship for black people, scholarship for Spanish people, scholarship for everything, you know? Like, I know sometimes they're racist, but I swear to God, they have a lot of opportunity in this country. If you are willing to work hard, you will they succeed. Expect. They have a lot of food in America. When I was in Guinea, I thought like people don't eat hakobantara, like cassava leaf, all these African sauce. I never knew that. I was like, I thought, they don't have no African food in here. Like, when I came here, I was like, what? It is in Guinea. Like, here, it is in Guinea. You can eat everything you want, anything you want, anytime. If you have the money. I was like, you know what? People used to tell me when I was in Guinea, they don't have African food here. Like, cassava leaf, um, peanut butter, all this, all this sauce. So another thing, that a lot of American people, like, in America here, they believe it is the best, like, I know America is the best country, but, like, they make that, like, so crazy. They believe it. here is the very best, best country in the world. Like, as an African, when you go outside and you try to do some stuff and you try to, like, 
talk about your country you know what they tell you they be like yo you better not say that because you know your country you don't even have light you don't have water i be so mad i was like you know what you better shut up because you don't know shit about my country you don't i know a lot of people be like africa they don't have nothing but you know what you know what is the funniest thing and the difficultest thing in here you was born in america but guess what you didn't even go to new york and me i was not born here i'm i just been here like let's say five years and i visited a lot of places so you better shut up they be like you know what they just be quiet because they know i'm right like it's so crazy how they take people from africa they think that we don't have nothing in there we don't have nothing no water no light i know we don't have light but still we have light sometimes they think we don't have nothing there like sometimes i know people annoy me a lot in this country but guess what some people really have empathy like they do if they see you outside and you're really um, having some problem they some people are willing to help you and sometimes like one one day I remember I was presenting my senior project when I was in high school the project was about female genital mutilation exclusion I think in French so I present that so basically I explain everything how how they did it and people was and people knew I had it done, you know what I'm saying? So they were so some people were so sad, some was even crying, you know, because they know that's hurt so bad. But the funniest thing is like when they come to you be like, Maria, is that thing hurt? I'd be like, you know what? What if I if someone take like a scissors and cut you like, cut you somewhere? You gonna hurt you? They'd be like, Of course, yes, that should hurt. I was like, Okay, that's the answer of the question. Why asking that? Some people really have empathy. A lot of people help. Like people used to help me a lot. I swear to God, in high school, I had a lot of friends and they helped me a lot. I know they annoying sometimes, but still, if you really need them, they will help you do the stuff you want. Also, like some people, I don't. Know, some people have a lot of difficulties when they come here, but when they real, when they realize you are a smart person, I swear to God, they will come down. They will be like, you know what? This person will help us. So we have to come down and ask questions and. For example, che cheat and homework because they like that. Like when you do your homework, they be like, "Excuse me, can I see your paper?" I was like, "See it? Here, yeah, see it. Here, yeah, see it. No, I wanna copy it down. Like my friend, now we talking. Like yes, you wanna copy it down. So when you get used to them, they will change and they know you will be. You are a smart person. You know, even Guys, though you I not. promise to not make the video so long. I have a lot of stuff to talk about because I've been through a lot when I just came here. But let me stop here today. Thank you so much for watching me. If you like these videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. Stay blessed.